So let's talk about wiring here and the different types of wire. I'm using solid core wire, solid copper. Um, there's wire that comes in the plugs of your vacuum cleaners, whatever. Don't use that. That's not the right kind. It's not thick enough. The strands are too thin inside. I use Romex. This is what they use to wire the inside of your house. There's three wires, two coated and one bare. I took the two coated wires out and that's what I'm using for my windings. I want to talk about things that other channels and other videos don't cover. You know, I want to be honest and open about everything here. This is the secondary prime secondary winding. This is what you need to take out of the microwave oven transformer. There's two of these. That's the secondary and you have the primary. Now to get these out, you either have to hacksaw it or cut along one of these welds here and pry it open. Now when you pry this iron core here is made up of several different plates and you just cut across it with whatever tool you got an angle grinder hacksaw pry it open and i glued it back together with super glue and a clamp and let it sit for an hour before i handled it again and i held a light up to it and i've got a little bit of a gap but uh, it's pretty tight so yeah take the secondary transformer or secondary winding out and throw it away I don't know what you need it for um, they are covered with a chemical that keeps electricity from jumping across the wire if you scratch that or nick that it's a, almost a loss so I'll get into that in a minute so you, you know, I took that out here and that space that that occupied will be occupied by our new windings now the primary winding has male connectors here and that's what you're going to use for your 120 outlet your plug-in and i'll cover that later this is that coating i was telling you about try not to nick that cut it scrape it damage it in any way um, I've heard people using fingernail polish to fix that, but I don't think fingernail polish was made to stop electricity from jumping across wires. If you decide to cut it out, the secondary winding, I used, I did a practice on a, a different microwave oven transformer, and I used this L-shaped thing here, this bar. I cut one side and then pounded with that tool, pounded it out, because it's, it's in there tight. These things are in there real tight. Use a rubber mallet and kind of tap it around to get it loose and, and pull it out as uh, what I found to be the easiest way. Um, you can see a little bit of a gap here from where I cut it with the angle grinder. Um, this is an overdub, so I'm uh, looking back on this, it wasn't that big of a deal. The uh, welder works great. So, don't worry about cutting it. It's probably, it is the easiest way to get those out. There's also a couple of little plates on each side that separate the secondary and primary winding. Remove those and save them to put them back in. I don't know what I'm doing here with the camera. I was a little worked up that day. I don't even know why I put this or kept this in the video. But uh, I'm going to talk about something irrelevant. These are the thin plates of steel that are interlocked and form the iron core. The iron core is 
what helps amplify the electricity that's coming through the primary winding into the secondary winding which we are wrapping and that produces that runs to the um, stick electrode holder and the clamp I have these welds right here where this was soldered on and that's going to mess up how many windings I can put in there because it's it raises the level up there but you know what trying to work around this is ridiculous so what when I had this off, I should have flipped it over. I guess that's why they tell you to cut the top. But, well, I guess they, they don't explain all that stuff, you know? That's my first time. I'm not too smart to figure that out. I'm not smart enough to figure it out. Right, I got these spacers in here. Just little metal plates that were wrapped with paper when I got it. Wrap them back up with something so they don't start to fire. And these keep a separation between the fields or something, I don't know. Now when the transformer comes, there's also another wrap of wire and I don't have it around. Went to a timer or something. It was between it went on top of these plates and then it had the other this winding on top of it. So just throw that out. I guess, I don't know yet. <laughs> right. So, like I said, I had this bolt over here off to the side that I showed you before. And I'll show you again in a second here. I'm going to run this wire through a little bit. Because you, you need one end tied off. and you, you, This really needs to be held in place too. And I had it bolted down before. And, uh, it off because uh, I'm just going crazy with this, trying to figure it out. I'm all good now. I got it. If I don't, then you'll witness a pencil breakdown on YouTube. Not really. Now these are speaking yes, and I, have, I saw one video guy has some pencils. Those uh, shop pencils, those thick ones. And he had it pushed in the side here to keep the wire from moving around on. Which is a really good idea. I wish I had some of those pencils that don't. You want to use something insulated or soft, you don't want to scratch this wire, expose the copper underneath it, and then it's done. You can blow yourself up, you know, burn it out. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Now, if you want to take this screwdriver here, gently press this here, try and get this corner shaped. This corner, right here, on the inside. You see how it jumps around all the time? That's why I had to pull it down. I'm going to do that again. over and I'm gonna take this one. I'm gonna take the short side. Just start it here. And I'm gonna go back. Now the problem was it's too long. I'm gonna waste all that wire and all those turns. So I'm gonna start back here. Start at the end of the thing. Work one in. Right. Work along it. Don't try to short cut it. This is gonna help right here. Keep stuff from moving around all over the place. Now this is the different side of the stuff here. 
I only got one drive, that's why I got some video set up here. So I'm gonna put this in here and I'm just gonna hold a little pressure against the, the flat side to scrape it. And then I know you can't see this, but that's where my camera's at, that's all I got, so. I'm trying to make this corner right there, and I did, and did all right. I'm going to do the same thing in here. Make this corner right there. I'm going to hold it tight. Sharp, you don't want to dig into the copper. Now, I got this. Remember, I got this 20 foot.